gentleman that's worked for us for many, many years, retired. Bob runs our orientation program. An orientation program only consists of two weeks. It's had a lot of in-house training, a lot of working within the equipment itself, working with the safety side of the equipment, um, the understanding of the laws, the DOT laws. We can take people that, that really have truck driving experience but not auto hauling experience and train them to do that. My name is Bob Smith. I am the quality control driver trainer. <laughs> This is my 40th year in the trucking business. I drove a truck for 31 years. I've been training drivers for almost four years now. I think by having a training program, we can take on less experienced drivers and teach them what they need to know. Doing this job isn't really about knowing everything. It's about the right mentality of a person that will accept instruction. And it's an attention to detail person. But he's incredibly important to these young people, the new people coming, because the, there's nothing the man hasn't hauled. So he gives them a lot of insight into, into not shortcuts, but the best way to haul, you know, strap a car down. And we haul all kinds of stuff, so he's got that experience to be able to tell them a difference between putting a pickup truck on and a Corvette. The most important thing, I think, is that he really enjoys it. So I think they get a good feel that you know he really cares about their success. We start our first day usually with vehicle inspection. From the time I start with them to the time I'm finished with them, I usually see a 50% improvement in inspection. It's just the attention to detail. We go over the safety procedures of how to open the gate, how to operate all the decks, how to secure cars in multiple different ways, how to winch cars onto the trailer if they're non-running vehicles. And then we load for a couple days, you know, in different configurations, and we're looking at cargo securement and making sure that they have minimum skills. If they don't have the skills that I think they need, then we work additionally until they do have those skills. Sometimes I spend a little more time, and I just look at the people individually, if they're struggling with something or I think they're struggling with something, we do it until I think that they're good enough at it. Every class is a little bit different because it's about the people. And you know, the most common thing that's said to me is, boy, that really makes me nervous. I said, well, if you're nervous, you're growing. If you're not nervous, we're not progressing. You know what I mean? So, I don't think there's a bad question. I, I'd rather people ask questions before they make a mistake. You're really good at your job. I think you do ask questions. And the guy that's not says, oops, I'm sorry, I messed that up. I honestly like questions. In my opinion, reliable is the biggest in that out there. So, you know, if you work here, you don't want to work anywhere else. So, that's why I'm here. <laughs> After I retired.